What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I can set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. That's a little lame. I ran with a simple crowd. Nice. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. You ever get a tattoo while you're sober? You ever get a woman who's not drunk? Ooh. Ouch. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all earned a rest. That we have, Cortez. Here's to taking a damn break. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. Now how about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I believe the expression is kissing babies. Okay. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when Jacob was in charge? Excuse me? What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. True. However... Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction, not the best icebreaker. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? I can't. 
can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? No worries, I'm sure Cerberus would be happy to build us the SR-3. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. I must admit, I... This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. I'm glad we could do this. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now the party started. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. <laughs> in my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I must admit, Your I... guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. <laughs> I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away.
How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. Felt oh, good. Thanks. No. See, easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarith. Garden World, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' lung. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. It still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Exactly. <laughs> Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Having fun, Zaid? As much fun as you can have with our plastique. I'm not really sure I want to go to that level of fun. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Seriously? That is not what I meant. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Not yet. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Go on. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. 
Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Lola, you have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Right, Jack? Hey, Liara? Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, more drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? I really, really would not. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. You have diagnostics? Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was... At the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, E.D. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. I'm going to remember that. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> 
Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jen. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. I believe the Zaid human is really a Prothean in disguise. I like that one. He and I have discussed conquering the galaxy after the Reapers are gone. Though I do not understand why he's always damning his god. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Well, you and the Asari, I'm surprised you don't just tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Captain on deck! It's very enthusiastic. Hey, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, damn it, I almost kept it straight. What is she doing with her arms? <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. Shepard, is it, is it just the alcohol, or do you have vids running in your head of us mostly naked, completely alone, and shamelessly rolling all over a couch? Could not. Could you? I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. Shepard. What's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance.
damn you! Let us. Are you a wizard? Is Mother over here? Oh, hello, Panty. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. <sighs> Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Hey, I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. Earlier than I was expecting. I kind of thought they'd have a camo pattern. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Hey, everyone! Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay, everyone say Normandy. Normandy. sense of direction. And you don't lack for places to get lost. Let's see if anyone else is up. Uh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Jack. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, and the Asari. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her, uh, hair, or whatever she calls it. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah, there's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. 
You got it. this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley? Could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Alliance resources are stretched pretty thin. Is this really worth the time? Just imagine if this task force had existed three years ago when you discovered the Prothean Beacon. This whole war might not have happened. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard. I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine, but I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark. Cold. Like I was somewhere else. That wasn't... Take a good look. You did that. You pulled the trigger and killed him. No. No! I couldn't have. No! I'm not a murderer! I saw you pull the trigger. Then you tried to kill me. I swear, I didn't! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. 
What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it, get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, ma'am. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. He's out there somewhere. We need him. I'll do what I can. Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garno. <laughs> Does this tell us where Garno went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. These are all murders in which the accused... Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the galaxy map. You think it's relevant? This appears to be encrypted data on Reaper fleet activity. You think it's relevant? That data is... Looks like data... Looks like data... March 7th, 20th. We saw a data pad... By Anne Bryson. Age 9. The Rachni data. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding this search filter to Meteorite the Meteorite fragment, map. maybe? He was studying it as an author. Adding the search filter now. Bryson was trying... Adding it now. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Alien sightings? Based on the search results, Garneau is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Reaper activity. Three possibilities. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. 
Element zero deposits. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. something. We have located Garneau. We're about five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. Powerful enough to take down a Reaper, but hiding from the war. There's more to this. Just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. Don't go anywhere, Cort- Tez, we'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. Scouting party. That's a- larger than the term scouting party would suggest. Let's get Garneau before the serious troops arrive. The people in this facility will be scared. as usual. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be...
Hello? Yes, welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. <sighs> Look, we don't have time to waste. I'm looking for a researcher, Dr. Garneau. It would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Something ain't right here, Lola. Let's look around. Carefully. This is unnerving. Need to fix that elevator. Elevator online. Repair terminal activated. I'll set the drone to repair the elevator, but we have to stay with it. log for the elevator said Garno was here in the last week. Why would they lie about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. The train pain crystals before psychosis is too high. What if the pain stimuli is applied more quickly? Interesting. We should look into that. Code hack? Yes. We just need to input it at the security terminal. Punch in Garno's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. The ship dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. <sighs> Unknown male was involved in an altercation in the mines. Garneau was heading to the mines. Hmm. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I have the file number. Let's go get Garnell.
7364. Access granted. Is that Garno? I hope not, or we've hit a dead end. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. Whatever's going on here, I need you to focus. Of course, Commander. I need you to tell me everything you've found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. In your call to Bryson, you mentioned an artifact. I did? No. Yes, Doctor, you did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Doctor? I think that's Garneau we're talking to. You! You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring my death. There he goes. Leave this place. Wait! We need to get to that artifact before he does. He said it was in the mine. Garno's notes gave us a nav point for the artifact. According to my map, there's a service door at the next tram station. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. Hey, I'd be worried if there weren't Reapers. <laughs>
was that? Looks like the door's power supply's been cut. I'm seeing the trouble spots. The drone could handle it. We'll need to escort it. Unfortunately, the drone is damaged. It's running on limited power. Let's make it quick, then. should be on Commander, check this out. What have you got? That wasn't Garneau. This is. Looks like he's been dead for a while. So Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data and a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Ann Bryson. Ann Bryson? Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you alright? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... Alright. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. No memory of the last 10 years. They'll have a lot of catching up to do. So this Leviathan can take down a Reaper and indoctrinate people, too? Could it be a Reaper itself? 
If it's a Reaper, we need to know its motivations. How long has it been out here, and more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. They're powerful, whatever they are. And dangerous. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. <laughs>